Here, thank you for joining us. The whole global warming theory may be nothing more than hot air, critics say, as a major UN climate change conference draws near. The debate stems from leaked emails stolen from a research center in Britain, which raised concern over data manipulation. Just under two weeks and counting, 191 countries will head for Denmark to try and reduce greenhouse gases. But a computer hacker has shown that scientists have been pumping out hot air of their own. Thousands of emails from Britain's University of East Anglia, the main source for measuring global temperatures, posted on a Russian internet server and raising serious questions about ethics and accuracy. In these emails, they talk about trying to suppress the real data and they talk about working with government uh, to not release the documents to Freedom of Information Act uh, request. And they also talk about how to persecute scientists and other people and get their funding revoked, get them in trouble, get them kicked out of peer-reviewed journals uh, if they tried to file scientific data that disproved that global warming was indeed happening or that it was man-made. So this is a giant scandal. This is climate gate. Now that climate change theory is in the public domain, the majority of ordinary people don't even think to question it. But in fact, climate observers say average temperatures are no higher than they were in 1998. And they may get cooler, not warmer, in the coming years. And among those convinced of global warming, some dispute just how much humans are to blame. Now indeed the warming is progressing, although not quite as rapidly as it did in the late 19th century, when anthropogenic influence was minimal, if any. Therefore the eternal question is bound to arise. What's the reason? Well, perhaps mankind does contribute somewhat to this warming, but by no means is it the main one. Personally, I'm convinced that we still do not know the answer. Nonetheless, voters are forcing their leaders to act. That's why they're heading to Copenhagen to cut carbon. But for some nations, it could choke their struggling economies. A lot of countries can't afford to commit to any legally binding targets because they need to raise millions and tens of millions of people out of poverty. India, China, they cannot afford to sign up to any such binding targets and therefore Copenhagen will be more or less a um, political agreement but not a legally binding agreement. Is the world getting hotter or is it just the politicians rhetoric and if any targets agreed at Copenhagen are based on flawed research surely it would say more about leaders trying to score popularity points back home rather than saving the planet. Laura Emmett, RT, 